um, you are going to be able to you are going to be able to understand all Arabs that's what's important because the thing about about dialects and, and slangs and it's just like saying after I learn English am I going to be able to understand all English slangs you can say yes or you can say no if I bring you to Louisiana in the US or New Orleans and I bring you in the hood they're gonna have their own slang and you're not gonna understand it and they have a whole the FBI and secret intelligence teams and squads they have this whole team of people trying to decipher what are these rappers and what are these uh, drug dealers saying on their you know Instagram status what does bando mean what does like all of these different terms they have so even though you know English do you understand that not really but it's because they have they made it up as for those people who speak like that are they able to speak in a way that you understand each other yes more most definitely so the thing is when you learn the Fusha language when you learn the Fusha Arabic you are going to be able to understand all Arabs However, some Arabs, they have their own slangs, their own very specific dialects. So, so, so you're going to be able to understand them if they, you know, intentionally speak to you in a way that is understood by the most majority. And they call, though, they call that middle spot Al-Lahj uh, al some call it like that but it's basically it's basically a form of speech which is very close to Fusha that all Arabs can come to and the person that only knows Fusha can come to as well for example instead of saying um, instead of saying instead of saying Ana sa'ati ilayka al-an hatta nadhab ma'a I'm going to come. I'm going to come to you right now, so we can go together. They will say, "Ajik unam shima, aji unam shiman." Even though it's fusha, ajika unam shiman. The way they say it and and how how they pronounce it and so on. It's not as formal. It's not as you know uh, as presentable. You might say. But you still understand it. You still understand it through context. You still understand what he's trying to tell you. So, uh, so yeah, if you learn Fusha Arabic, you are going to be able to understand all Arabs if they intentionally want you to understand them. But if they want you to not understand them, they can just pull out their dialect and their made up words uh, that come from their you know that comes from like a, is a mix of their colonized language whether it's in Morocco French uh, in uh, in Egypt Italian or English or in Mauritania the French as well for basically the East is the French the West is uh, I mean the West is the French the East is is uh, Italian uh, sometimes Dutch sometimes English so yeah